Today we are going to be talking about drop shots and there's a bunch of different types of drop shots you can do you can do what they call power shotting but today we're going to be called just be doing drop shots and let's first let's talk about hooks we have a uh, size one size one circle hook right there and uh, that's what you would normally use now you can move up to a bigger hook with thicker wire when you're getting into bigger bass. And uh, weights, got a 1 8 ounce pencil weight. And you just stick that on the bottom and show you how to tie it real quick. And uh, I'll go over the line. This is 10 pound mono. Of course you can go to bigger braid, 15, 20 pound braid and on a uh, seven foot spinning gear about which you need to throw it on and we'll rig this up real quick go in through the eye of your hook or you can miss like me go into the eye of your hook come up leave yourself a bunch of slack like that and you're gonna tie just your normal knot, whatever knot you use. There's not really a, it's a spe specific knot you have to use. Just your normal knot. And come back through. It's a lot to deal with with all this slack hanging off. Just tie it. And what I like to do is. I like to come back and go through the eye of my hook with the slack and it just helps that hook stick out there a little bit more stand up out there and then you want to get your weight a little pencil weight and see it has a little clip right there on top and uh really you don't even have to tie a regular knot you can just tie a double overhand stick it in that clip and you just want to go through and then come back through there and then go down and then just you can't tie a knot tie a lot you don't even have to tie a knot, you just tie two regular with a little double overhand. And then it's still going to pull through a little bit, but if that way if you get hung, say your weight gets hung, you don't want to lose your whole, you don't want to lose your hook and your weight, your hook will pull off. I mean your weight will pull off. It'll pull off first and you won't lose your hook. You're just going to lose your weight instead of losing both of them. And I uh, just take a knife, your scissors, whatever you have, cut off the slack, and there you go, you got a drop shot. And now let's talk about drop shot baits, of course. Um, one of the perfect things, if you're not targeting the biggest fish, this will catch big and small fish, of course. But just a little bitty finesse worm. Or you can go. Really, you can rig anything on drop shots. There's a lot of drop shot baits out there. Um, you can even use. I've seen some people do this. Rig a crawl. This is just a pack of crawl. Rig that on the drop shot. But the best bait. Probably ever. The drop shot be any kind of little trick worm style of bait and you just take it take your hook and you just hook it right through the nose of your worm just like that 
that bait's gonna do. Your weight's gonna sit on the bottom like this, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna twitch that rod. Move this back a so you can see. And twitch that rod, and that bait's just gonna sit there and work itself in the water. You can even say you're bed fishing, and you gotta keep it on that bed. You found that perfect spot where that fish does not like that bait being, and you can sit there in one spot and just wiggle that worm right in front of that fish's face and she's gonna eat it eventually and uh other ways you can rig drop shots just come up just a like wacky rig drop shot do it like that work it like that and then of course, you have Sanko stick baits. You nose hook them. But to me, the best thing you can do drop shotting a Sanko is wacky rig it. Because it has that slow fall that the fish love. You can bounce it to wherever you want it. And you can just pull your line tight and just let it slowly sink to the bottom. Bounce it back up, keeping it in one spot with the weight, and let it fall. And, um, flukes. Use them, drop shotting. Just a nose hook. Nose hook a fluke. It's another good drop shot bait. And zoom makes a worm called the centipede that's a perfect drop shot bait I've caught a bunch of fish on a zoom centipede on drop shot best drop shot bait and if you're in some grass and you're trying you're getting a bunch of weeds on your hook every time you try it take your hook and you're pretty much going to Texas rig on a drop shot you don't want to start with it right in the nose. Come out. Push that up. Right there. Right over the eye of that hook. And just hook it in there again. And now you have a weedless drop shot. And um, we're going to try to get out. Looks like it stopped raining for a little while. We're going to try to get out there and uh, catch a couple fish on drop shot. Not even sure if you guys can hear me right now, but uh, we're going fishing and it's raining. It's actually a tropical storm right now, but we got to go fishing. I'm going to put this little bio spawn worm on. Got in a mystery tackle box pretty good as a little chartreuse tail oh there's a good bass right there I think he might eat it. Yep, he ate it. See here? He's long and skinny. So I just stopped there and I jigged it in one spot. Let it just sit there. Bouncing up and down. One way to grab him. Feisty Joker. Yeah, he was sitting right there and I just... That's a fish. That right there is huge. Oh my god. 
gotta go see what that is. Holy crap. I don't know what that is over there, but it is huge. Sorry about that, guys, but I gotta go see what's over here. I know you didn't really get to see that fish at all. We gotta go look at whatever just did that. I should have had on like a moving bed or something. <laughs> 